Welcome back to another instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week, where in this video I will be talking about the Chatham Islands fern bird, the island equivalent of the birds on the mainland that unfortunately became extinct. I hope you enjoy. Chatham Island fern birds were, as their name suggests, endemic to the Chatham Islands group, with their closest living relative being the New Zealand fern bird that still lives on the mainland, being formerly treated as a subspecies but now being widely recognised as its own, weighing 39 grams and being around 18 centimetres long. They were rufous above and whites below, lacking the underside speckling found in most other fern birds, having long tail feathers that were often frayed due to wear, with their legs and feet being more robust than those of their mainland counterparts, yet their wings were relatively smaller, so they likely had a reduced ability to fly. The species also had the typical fern bird's call, but with a peculiar whistle, very much like that which a man would use in order to attract the attention of another at some distance according to those that observe them. Chasm Island fern birds would have foraged for insects on the ground, as evident from their pelvis and legs, as well as observations that they would hop rapidly from one point of concealment to another, and flitting about among the grass and stunted vegetation, although little else is known about their ecology or behaviour. Birds were only recorded alive historically from one island before their extinction, being on Mangaree Island, not being too uncommon, although subfossils tell a different story as numerous bones have been found on both neighbouring pits and the main Chasm Islands, indicating that they were widespread and common. The first individual known to science was collected in 1868 by naturalist Charles Traill, after knocking it over with a stone, and then sending it to Sir Walter Buller who then described it in 1869. A further 43 skin specimens have been located in the world's museums, with the last specimen being shot for the collection of Lionel Rothschild in 1895 becoming extinct 25 years after their discovery. The reasons for said extinction on the main Chasm Islands was likely due to Pacific rats, which would have arrived with the first Polynesian settlers, with cats likely wiping them out on Mangri Island after they were released to control rabbits, as well as overgrazing by goats, rabbits and bushfires. And with that, I thank you for watching this instalment of New Zealand's Bird of the Week. For next time, you are now able to vote for the erect crested penguin, one of three similar looking crested penguins endemic to southern New Zealand that have one of the most bizarre breeding systems of any birds. And with that, I'll see you next time, whenever that may be.